Vino. And I'm Layla. Welcome back to our segment, Super Food Sleuths. Where we investigate the health food aisle. I hope everyone appreciates. We now have two magnifying glasses, so we don't look silly, as silly. As it? silly, yeah. Shout out to my baby nephew who got that for us as a gift. Uh, and by baby nephew, I mean my sister. Oh, so you're a real one. So today, we're diving into apple cider vinegar which I am not excited about. I'm not excited about either. Looking at this, it's 60 milliliters. Luckily it has like some apple juice and some other stuff in there, but I just, I've never tasted apple cider vinegar because it just looks, it sounds so gross and it smells gross. Um, it is a juice shot. So hopefully that, cause I know some people will take apple cider vinegar shots directly. I know. So this is a juice shot with apple cider vinegar. So hopefully it'll be a touch more palatable. I hope so. You know, it's organic. So there's- That's key. Oh, it has some cinnamon. So maybe it'll be like a apple cider. Ooh, maybe like, it'll be like an apple pie. That's the best I, case scenario. Yeah. I'm, my, my expectations are a lot Very, lower very low. Um, if I can take more than one sip, I will. It's a shot, Layla. Oh. So before we begin, we should probably talk about what exactly apple cider vinegar is. It's been getting quite a bit of hype recently, and also it's been getting hype for like a while. And I know it's lasted. I used to like do um, nutrition grocery store tours at this like with this gym that I worked for, and people were asking about it like I know 2016, and somehow it has withstood the test of time. And here we are today, gonna to be doing apple cider vinegar shots. Have you have you seen those goalie gummies? that are like all over, like every influencer slash celebrity has been like promoting it on like Instagram and stuff oh. over the last few years. Yes, I'm not following up influencers <laughs> on my Instagram, or at least my influencers are, are lacking on these goalie gummies. What are they? I mean, okay, so they're apple cider vinegar, but uh -huh. in like gummy form. So I, I think it, the intention is to make them more palatable because I think the general consensus it's is that not. it's gross okay honestly um, and i hear that it tastes good i feel apparently. like that would be good as a as a gummy because i feel like you know the, the vinegar might come more as like a sourness like a sour gummy rather mm. than like this yeah yeah this vinegar because i've definitely i've had apple cider vinegar dressing which is good for salads and marinades chutneys i don't know what else are people putting vinegar in you could probably use apple cider vinegar for it oh you know Ooh. what i have used it for tell me a face mask for real yeah what did it do I think it's supposed to like, like give you sh glow. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it was in like, um, have you ever seen like the Aztec clay mask? Uh -huh. If you want to like super up your mask, it's like made out of like benzenate clay. You mix it instead of with water, you mix it with apple cider vinegar. Okay. So I've done that before and it smells. I, I was going to, I was just going to ask how long did that smell linger in your face? 20 minutes of like letting it sit. Mm. So that's a joy. Do you get desensitized to the smell no. after? No. No. It stays with you. Yeah. It really does. The things we do for beauty though. Exactly. Apple cider vinegar, very versatile it seems. It's kind of all over the place these days. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. The process, it's made from fermented apple juice. So basically they crush a bunch of apples, like squeeze out the juice and then add some bacteria to it to like ferment it into alcohol. And then you add more like more things into it, more bacteria to it, and then it gets converted into a vinegar, which gives it that classic vinegar sour taste. That sour taste from vinegar comes from acetic acid. So most vinegars, like not all vinegars, are made from making alcohol and then um, adding more bacteria in, and then you're turning that alcohol into acetic acid. So anyone who's like accidentally left a bottle of wine open too long. You know what we're talking exactly, about. Exactly, that vinegar taste, that's exactly the same process. So now why has apple cider vinegar gotten so much attention lately? There's a lot of health related claims going around about it. Things from helping with digestion, to weight loss, to glycemic control. Cholesterol, bloating, bloating? is a like a hot topic, topic like, these days and i don't know if it's like a code word for weight loss or if it's like genuine bloating i feel like just everyone on the planet right now is having issues with bloating i know just even talking to my friends like a lot of people have gastrointestinal issues that they kind of just let go unaddressed so i think if you're a marketer you can really market for bloating that's uh that's your cash cow right there so before we dive into whether these claims have any merit shall we Give these a shot. All right, let's give these a Ooh. shot. Do we shake it? I feel like there's stuff at the bottom. There was like a 
A film of oh shake well it's shake well I would recommend yeah. it. It's like a dark brown film at the bottom. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I feel like I do this every time. Every time I look at the video, I'm like people cannot see what this is, but that's what it looks like. Um, this is a PC brand. This I think is our second PC product. That yeah, we're doing. I feel like they better start paying us I know. for our services here. <laughs> it has apple juice, apple cider vinegar, cinnamon, and cayenne. The I think the most reassuring part for me is that the apple juice is first. So, Which means there's more fat. More, app more apple juice. Like, wait. Am I paying just for apple juice in a... Can and you imagine? No, it definitely has vin vinegar in there. Okay. Definitely. It smells like salad dressing. Oh wow, it does smell like dra salad dressing. But a second smell, you can cut through the, the dressing and get to the but apple cidery kind of bit. I don't know. I'm not getting apple cider. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Are um, we ready? Okay, well, should we describe what it looks like? Okay. It looks like exactly what you're probably imagining. Which yeah. Is so an appetizing brown liquid. So yeah, you can see that it's like this brown color. Um, it's like an orangey brown. Yeah, anyone who's had to dodge puddles in Toronto is probably familiar with this this color after a rainy day. Oh. Are we doing it? Wait, are you sh t shooting it or sipping it? I'm gonna shoot it. Really? I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll sip. Or should we do like a wine tasting where you do like a... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to swish this around my mouth. Actually, and we'll talk about this later, but because this is vinegar, like because it's acidic, I don't think you want to swish, swish it around your mouth. Yeah. You know, you, you want to keep those teeth nice and strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna sip it first. Okay. And then we'll right. see where we go from there. All right, there we go. Cheers. Cheers. Honestly, not as bad as I thought, but the aftertaste. Oh man, did it not get you? Let me try again. It like assaulted my throat. <laughs> actually, it tastes actually nicer than I expected. The sip, well, other than the burning in my throat, it's okay. I would drink this. <laughs> like not a glass. And like not on purpose. <laughs> but like often. So in what situation would you drink this then? <laughs> If I maybe went to like my friend's house and then their parent was like, oh, I made this for you. And I'd be like, oh, thank you, Mrs. Whoever. I would drink oh, it. Oh, out of politeness you would. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Actually, the second sip was nice. Yeah. Oh, you're in your drink. Oh, you're, 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 you're the rest. You're yeah. the rest. Are ready? One, two, three. I didn't get through the rest. There's a bunch of like cayenne and like cinnamon left at the bottom. Oh, yeah. You know what? Not bad. Not. I'm gonna say this is better than the hot chocolate we did. This and is the way better water. than the hot chocolate. This is way better than the alkaline water. water. Oh, the alkaline water. I had the extras in my fridge, and like I had a few friends come visit me, and I've been like giving all of them alkaline water. I'm like this is everyone's is disgusting. Oh really? Everyone okay. says it's taste of medicine, and it is disgusting. So I don't know who they are marketing to. I don't know who they got on their taste panel. But this is kind of a pleasant surprise. It actually. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I might be way off. It yeah. kind of reminds me of a Caesar. There's something familiar there about that flavor. Yeah. It's not terrible. But you're right. I would never have this on purpose. But if I was in a, a situation where I was kind of forced to, I would do it. Exactly. And probably be able to keep a straight face. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. The alkaline water definitely wouldn't be able to. No. The This could keep a straight face. I'm really surprised. I'm very surprised. My stomach doesn't feel so hot right no, now. No, actually. I feel it. I'm, I was, uh, I can, I like that some, burny feeling I had in here, I, I have feel it down here. here. Now. And that makes me wonder what's happening to my tissues. It feels like, you know, sometimes you eat really spicy food and then you get that burning in your stomach. That's what it feels like. It kind of tastes like if you took a, a shot on an empty stomach and you just, that lingering burn. That's, that's all exactly down your it. esophagus. Because that's exactly it. Well, I guess without further ado, what health benefits can we expect from taking this 60 mils of apple cider vinegar? The shot is 60 mils. We don't actually know how much of it is That's apple cider vinegar. Galen, letting us down. Where's your transparency, Galen? For nutrition facts, call this number. What? Wait, are they allowed to do that? Excuse me? Wow, I didn't realize they were allowed to do that. Maybe like, because the product is so small, maybe they can get away with then it. Why isn't everyone making just super small products? That's so or maybe because it's like a supplement or something. There might be some, they got, some they got around They something. got around it. That's so interesting. Okay, well. Should we give them a call? I'm just kidding. No. There's actually been 
way more research about apple cider vinegar than I expected. Mostly in animals and specifically in rats and mice, but more recently there has been some trials in humans as well, particularly to do with like cholesterol and blood glucose slash diabetes management, which is super interesting. And very unexpected. I feel like every time we do these videos where I'm expected to be like, no basis behind this guys, like, you yeah, do this? we're learning right along with, with you, you guys. Exactly. <laughs> Looking into uh, the research around blood cholesterol and blood lipid levels. So, um, you know, triglycerides and total cholesterol are things that, like words that your doctor might say to you talking when they talk about, you know, how much fat is in your blood. Typically, we are looking for lower numbers for those. And it's actually been found that taking 15 milliliters of apple cider vinegar can result in benefits to your total blood cholesterol and total blood triglyceride levels, which is very interesting. Yeah, so that was in a 2021 systematic literature review and meta-analysis. And it was found that, you know, especially when it was taken daily for over an eight week period, yeah, we saw reductions in total cholesterol. Um, at doses less than or equal to 15 mils. If you can, I don't know how much is in here. If there's 15 mils in here and I was worried about my total cholesterol, like my cholesterol levels, maybe I could, maybe. But importantly, there's also other ways to improve your cholesterol, such as uh, adopting a healthy diet, um, physical activity, um, smoking cessation, uh, eating more fiber, all those things, and they all taste better than this. And especially- I would also- provide a lot more, more health benefits, benefits overall yeah, exactly. and it might be cheaper too. Some of the proposed mechanisms, like first of all, is that it's thought that the apple cider vinegar might help you get rid of more bile acid and bile, ac bile is actually something that helps you digest fat and bile is made up partially of cholesterol. So if you're getting rid of the bile acid, then your body's kind of forced to make more bile and use up the cholesterol. So it's thought that that could be maybe one way that it's bringing down your blood cholesterol levels. Another way that scientists think that this might work is by reducing the amount of lipids that your body is, or like fats your body's putting into your blood and also increasing the amount of fats that are broken down by your body. So those are some of the ways they think that this might work. Another claim with apple cider vinegar is actually that it helps with blood sugar management. And the reason that that's important is because you you know it's, it's to help you know prevent diabetes, you know help manage diabetes, and kind of avoid some of the complications that can come with that if your blood sugar levels are not maintained in the long run. A systematic literature review and meta analysis does also find that. You know, particularly in people that already have diabetes or, you know, at least at baseline have elevated blood sugar levels, that taking apple cider vinegar daily for at least eight weeks actually does seem to help reduce fasting blood glucose levels. And one of the proposed mechanisms is actually that it slows down gastric emptying. And why that matters is that when you slow down gastric emptying, that means that the carbohydrates and the sugars in your food, it takes longer to enter your blood. So you kind of prevent those, you know, spikes and drops in your blood sugar levels. Another proposed mechanism is that it enhances the cellular, cellular utilization of the glucose and that it also increases the release of insulin. And insulin is a hormone that actually helps uh, your body bring in glucose from your blood into your cells. Another mechanism is that it suppresses your liver's um, release of glucose into your blood. So one of the functions of your liver is to kind of keep tabs on how uh, much sugar is in your blood. And if those sugar levels get too low, your liver produces more glucose uh, and releases it into your blood. Um, and you know, when we see people who have higher levels of um, blood glucose, sometimes their liver is just producing more glucose and putting out into their blood more. Um, and so this can kind of tell your liver to chill out. So you get less glucose in your blood coming from your liver. And we did, you know, the systematic literature review, it saw that effect of, you know, a reduction in fasting blood glucose levels, particularly when it, the treatment was done for over eight weeks. And it was also seemed to be a greater impact on those that already had diabetes or those that had higher fasting blood glucose levels to begin with. And we also really want to make it clear that this is not the you know, main course of treatment that you should go for. If you know, your doctor says to you, your um, blood glucose levels are elevated. Again, we are, we are not your 
healthcare professionals. So always listen to your healthcare professional. We're just giving some commentary here. Apple cider vinegar might be a good addition if you're doing all the things your doctor tells you. Um, if you let's say have diabetes or also if you know, blood glucose is something that you're concerned about. So those could be things like changing your diet. So incorporating more fruits and vegetables, having more fiber at your meals, uh, things like increasing your physical activity are all shown to, you know, stabilize your blood glucose levels. Um, and that's shown more consistently, I'd say, than what we've seen for apple cider vinegar. So apple cider vinegar might be something to add on, but definitely shouldn't be that it's not treatment number one exactly exactly now let's dive into everyone's favorite topic weight loss does apple cider vinegar help with weight loss unfortunately there aren't like too many human trials you know looking at the impact of you know supplementing with apple cider vinegar on weight loss like we said earlier you know most of the research is in animals you know rats and mice and stuff but there are a handful of randomized control trials um for example there was one done in adults that are obese and basically there were three groups, you know, one group was given no apple cider vinegar. So it was like a beverage with no apple cider vinegar in it. Another group was given a beverage with 15 mils of apple cider vinegar in it. And the third group was given 30 mils worth of apple cider vinegar. And, you know, they took measurements, you know, such as like body weight, BMI, um, body fat percentage and waist circumference. And they took those measurements, you know, f at four weeks, eight weeks and 12 weeks. And it's super crazy, but all of those measures did seem to go down in the groups that were taking the apple cider vinegar. And what's crazier still is that there was a dose dependent effect, which basically means that the more that you were taking of the apple cider vinegar, the more of an increase we saw. So that means that the people with the 30 milliliter um, beverage that they were taking had more uh, changes than those in the 15 milliliter group and um, those in the 15 milliliter group had more changes than those who were not taking any. Makes the study a little bit more compelling as well. That's not to say that you should start going out like downing gallons of apple cider vinegar every day in the pursuit of weight loss. That is not what we're saying. It's just very interesting because they were also measuring things like food intake and physical activity and those variables didn't vary among the groups. So it is thought that maybe there is something, you know, specific about the apple cider vinegar that may be contributing to that enhanced weight laws uh, but again this was just one randomized control trial and you know in the context of scientific research it's really not enough to you know, like start making any crazy claims even though the claims are out they're there, already out there right? they're already out there when an instagram influencer is already one step ahead of you some of the mechanisms or some of the ways that we think that this works or scientists think that the way that this works is by reducing gastric emptying so we already talked about that when it comes to um you know blood sugar and uh blood lipids um earlier so it might cause things to leave your stomach slower which makes you feel a little bit fuller for longer and it also could reduce appetite and i was telling rabina i think that this reduces appetite because it just tastes so bad another giant claim about apple cider vinegar is that it helps with bloating and bloating is such a hot topic these days. And you know, all those people who are taking apple cider vinegar for their gastrointestinal issues, I'm so sorry to tell you, we have bad news today. There is not really any research supporting that claim, unfortunately. People who claim that uh, apple cider vinegar could have an effect on gastrointestinal function think that it actually lowers the pH of your stomach from drinking it because it's an acidic drink. And so um, that can help your stomach with digestion because one of the ways that your stomach digests proteins is through being super acidic. But again, there's not really any evidence to support these claims. Yeah, and on the flip side of that, you know, we kind of mentioned it a few times with some of the other claims, but uh, apple cider vinegar actually seems to slow down gastric emptying. So in other words, food may actually stay in your stomach for longer, which may actually have the opposite impact of, you know, if you're looking to reduce bloating, you know, perhaps food sitting in your stomach for longer may not be what you're looking for. So, you know, from what we can tell, I don't think this should be your go-to answer for something like bloating. Having gastrointestinal problems can be a sign of something more 
serious. So if you're having those kind of issues, do talk to your uh, GP or go see uh, a healthcare professional to address those. We talked about some of the claims and the evidence behind the claims around apple cider vinegar, but let's talk about some of the risks that there might be. Luckily, nothing major, nothing huge, but there still are a couple. One being stomach burning, which I definitely experienced shortly after we took the shot. Still have Do you still burning. feel it? Yeah. Mine has subsided, but that was very unsettling. Mm. I didn't <laughs> like it at all. And the second one is um, teeth erosion. So we know that having things that are really acidic can soften and kind of degrade your teeth. So if you drank this regularly and let it kind of sit on your teeth, you might end up with a higher risk of things like dental caries slash cavities, I guess. So definitely don't swish it around your mouth. And yeah, it, I mean, I think the general recommendation is to also, you know, wait at least an hour after eating to brush your teeth because, you know, if your teeth might be a little softer if you've had acidic foods, that definitely applies to this. Yes, yeah. Um, so yeah, reduce contact with teeth and wait a little while before brushing your teeth. So now let's get on to ratings. Yes, my favorite part. My favorite part too. So appearance first. I'm going with my Toronto puddle water uh, analogy. I think that's quite apt for uh -huh. this. Uh, and I'm going to give it like a one and a half. Okay, is zero the worst or is one out of 10 the worst? Zero, I would say is the worst, but I would say zero would be like, I can't even look at it. Correct. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So keeping that in mind, I think I would give it a two. Okay. Because I could look at it. I could look at it and be like, okay, I'm going to put this in my mouth now. Okay. You know, I'm going to revise mine to a two. Two. Very good. Right. Next, smell. smell. Yeah. What did it smell like? It was vinegary at first. And then and you then, said the apple was coming through for you. It yeah, didn't for me. Well, you smell it first, you get the vinegar, but once your nose adjusts a little bit to that acidity, you get the apple. You could definitely smell way worse. Like it didn't make me want to like be nauseous or anything no, like that. It just smelled like vinegar. Maybe three out of ten. I'll give it a three and a half. Ah, <laughs> you're yeah. more generous than I am. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like because I got that like second smell of mm -hmm. the apple coming through a little bit more, the cinnamon. That so. redeemed it a little yeah. bit. A half yeah. a point a half for point. of redemption. Yeah. Next, taste. Taste. I think we should do based on like drinkable supplements okay. and then also based on like in general would i ever want to taste this ever again okay compared fair. to everything you've ever tasted so in general for like supplement foods or things like that especially the ones that we've tried i would give this like a five it's actually it was it surprised me it's a lot better than i expected okay in the category of drinkable supplements yeah i think that's fair five out of ten i'll, I'll give it a five out of ten okay as well. in terms of all things that i could ever drink I would have to say two out of ten again. Oh, that's because, exactly what I was gonna say. Okay, yeah. because you know what? It even though it wasn't bad, it could be a million times better. Yeah, but it also could be way worse. Do we need a fourth category for aftermath? The aftermath. Yeah. I think this needs an aftermath because I've been getting little burpees coming up yeah. and my stomach still hurts. Okay, I think this should be like a binary scale, scale though. Either you feel normal or you feel not good. This gets a not a, good. Yeah, I, yeah, that's a zero for me. So PC, do better. Taylin, if you're watching, do which better. We're, which we're sure, which I'm sure you he are. Is, of he course. is, of course. Yeah. Overall, uh, takeaways from today is there's surprisingly a lot more research about apple cider vinegar and health than I thought going into this. The research is still in its kind of early days. I agree. I kind of came into this thinking that we were going to completely be shaming this product. So mm -hmm. this is, it's cool doing this segment, to be honest. I feel like I've been learning so much. But no, at the end of the day, I mean, I think any benefit you could, might, whatever, get from this, you could definitely get from so many other ways just overall healthy diet and physical activity and doing those things will actually help with so many health benefits physical health mental health psychological health mm -hmm. all the things so i mean this is like a plan e i don't even know that's pretty generous oh, okay plan t t <laughs> q q wait because q's above t 
Q is one of those letters that's too early in it's, the alphabet. It's earlier than you think it, it should, should be. It should be down with like the X's. I know, it should be with the X and Y and Z. It so, should be with the Z, right? Yeah. Let's that's why I'm gonna, this is, actually, that's why I'm going to put this in Q. Okay. Because but I thought like it, Q based on where you think it should be, not where it is. Actually, that's the reason I'm going to give it a Q. Because I think Q should be at like, the end of the alphabet, but it turns out Q is at the more closer up. And so that's why there's like a metaphor in the alphabet. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, look at you. Look at me. Any of the things that we talked about today, talk about with your primary health professional. Go see a dietitian. If you're implementing everything, you're exercising, you're eating healthy, you're getting lots of fruits and vegetables in, getting lots of fiber, and you want to add apple cider vinegar, go nuts. But also don't let it sit on your teeth for too long. And if it hurts your stomach, don't take it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our videos. And follow us on our Instagram and our TikTok. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.